Yo, what is good guys? Uh, your boy Jay here and um, as you can probably tell from the title, um, yeah, it is true. Um, the video reaction series for Music To Be Murdered By um, will hereby be uh, cancelled uh, going forward. Uh, now, this wasn't an easy thing for me to do. I still wanted to review the rest of the album, but I was getting sick and tired of all these freaking copyright claims. I mean, I don't understand how my opinion can hurt, you know, album sales or anything like that. I mean, come on, you know, M, you made your money, bro. You made your money. So why are you hiding behind corporate groups and having them come after us creators just because we're giving our opinions for each song on your album? But anyway, enough with all that noise. But yeah, that was, that was one of the reasons why I was considering to uh, cancel the series. But now I have no problem in canceling the series because there's another reason. And that reason is... Uh, Royce the five nine. Now hold on. Before we get even further into that, let me um go to Eminem's channel real quick because I want to give just a streamlined review of what I think of the album overall. All right. So Premonition, you guys saw the reaction video for that. You know where I stand with Premonition. Um, I like it. I will still listen to it. Unaccommodating, featuring Young M.A. Despite how I feel about Young M.A.'s verse, I will still listen to this song. Uh, you Gonna Learn, despite Royce 59 being on it, I will still listen to it again. Because as an artist and an MC, I still respect Royce 59. Um, anyway, uh, Alfred Interlude, obviously, it's just a skit, so odds are I'll be deleting that off my list. I don't like having skits taking space on my iPod. That's just me. I like having just just songs. You know what I mean? Unless it's a funny skit. You know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? Something that's gonna crack me up. Then I'll keep it on there. But um, yeah, I don't think I'll, I'll keep the Alfred skits. Uh, but that's just me. Anyway, uh, those kind of nights. Dope track featuring uh, Ed Sheeran. Um, yeah, dope track. I love it. I'll I'll definitely be slapping that in the car. Uh, Into deep. Um. Yeah, I'll probably be slapping that in the car. Godzilla, definitely. Darkness, um, even though it's going to take me back to the Vegas shooting. I mean, I think it's an important song to listen to from time to time. You know what I mean? To make me appreciate the fact that, you know, my boy is still here. So, yeah, I'll definitely be listening to that more. Uh, Leaving Heaven, um, kind of 50-50 on that. I can I can listen to it again. Uh, but if for some reason my, my, my iPod loses that song, I can do without it. Um... Nothing against Skylar Gray. I thought her hook on there was great. Um, Skylar Gray and Eminem I always felt have great chemistry together when um, when uh, making tracks. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I would love to uh, listen to that again. Uh, Stepdad, definitely. Uh, Marsh, sure. Uh, Never love again. I don't know. Kind of brings back some painful memories, but um, I think it's kind of good though to go back. You know, at your darkest times, she just remind you like where you came from and how far you've, how how far you've come since then. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense, the way I worded it. Um, anyway, uh, little engine definitely, uh, lock it up definitely, farewell sure, um, no regrets with Don Tolliver definitely. Uh, I will sure, despite Royce being on there sure. Now the reason I'm um, saying Royce is the reason that I'm canceling this reaction series. Well, before I get into that. Let me give my overall rating on the album. I've heard some reactors give it an 8 out of 10. Some gave it an 8.5 out of 10. I would say it's definitely worth an 8 out of 10. It's it's a dope album overall. And um, so, yeah, that's my final thoughts on that. Now, addressing Royce the 5'9". Um, for those of you who don't know who Royce the 5'9 look like, or looks like, um, here's a picture of him. There you see him there sporting a nice USA cap. And... Um, Royce the Five Nine started a beef with um, this guy. For those of you who don't know who that is, that's Yellow Wolf, a white rapper. What's the relevance of that? I'm gonna get into that. Now, this lovely young woman here is Fifi Dobson. Some of you may recognize her. She's a singer. She, as a matter of fact, she did uh, a song with Yellow Wolf on one of his albums. Uh, Fifi Dobson is also the wife of Yellow Wolf. What's the relevance of that? Well, Royce the Five Nine, as I mentioned, started beef with Yellow Wolf, and he accused Yellow Wolf of being racist. I shit you not. It's all over YouTube. Feel free to look it up yourself. Now, 
if Yellow Wolf is racist, why would he marry a black woman? Explain that to me. And um, for those of you who missed my uh, Method to the Madness episode 2 where I break down my track, This House, uh, I pretty much address the whole racial uh, divide, the whole race baiting situation in the House of Hip Hop. Uh, but for those of you who missed that episode, I will let you know where I stand with all that. I think it's bullshit. And Royce the 5'9", I'm sorry, but he, he he's a, a, a fucking piece of shit because he pulled a Nick Cannon. That's right, Royce. You are Nick Cannon 2.0. Because you did the exact same shit Nick Cannon did to your homeboy, Eminem. Remember when Nick Cannon uh, accused Eminem of being racist? And not one, and not two, but three diss tracks. So explain to me how it's not okay for Nick Cannon to accuse Eminem of being a racist, but it's okay... For you to accuse Yellow Wolf of being fucking racist. Knowing full well that he's married to a black woman. I'm sorry, but I'm so fucking heated over this shit. Because what you did, Royce, was a bitch move. It's a bitch move. You went from being, being Billy Badass to Billy the Bitch. Because you're playing the fucking race card. Which deserves your ass a fucking L. One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to beefs and diss tracks is motherfuckers playing the race card. And you know who, who would agree with that? Why, a young Eminem circa 1999. Don't believe me? Listen to this. Yourself, you're gonna win. Now let me ask you this, you know, with the whole race thing. The first time that I got a record from you guys um, was what the, what the F, okay? And just don't, don't give, give a, a just don't give a. F now the first thing that came out of the promoter's mouth was, "Yo, this kid is dope. He's a dope white MC." And that I, I took offense to that. I was Fired. like, Thank I was you. like, Thank you know, because it's like now it now it raises the question: Are you being pushed because you're white? Or are you being pushed because you're good? Yeah, and, I, and, I, I and, hear And everything. this is continuously going on. I mean, people's like pulling the race card on you. So speak to that because the perception that a lot of people is having now is that you're going to blow up, that you're on MTV, that you're getting major radio play because you're a white kid that is going to be very marketable. You're a white kid that can rap. And this is the most marketable thing since Elvis. Um, you know what? Anybody who pulls a race card is gonna get a double back in their face. They're gonna it's gonna backfire right in their face. Anybody I'm waiting for the race card. I've dealt with the race card all of my life. All of my life where I grew up at, how I grew up, where I live, where I came up at, rhyming, everything. I've dealt with it all my life and I'm telling you, I'm at the point I'm at a boiling point right now in my life where I swear to God that anybody who play who plays that race card, a girl on college radio today, she tried to play the race card today and was making fun and shouldn't even have had no business having me up there. You know what I mean? She, yo, that girl broke my rec broke my record on air. You know what I mean? It was trying to clown on me like, you gotta see this guy, he's white and he's got blonde hair and blah 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 blah. A college radio station, yo. Somebody, a girl who was nobody tried to pull the race card on me and cut got it double, got it triple back in her face. I'm telling you, I don't play that. It's 1999. But see, I understand you don't play it, but what about your... You hear that, Royce? You don't play that shit. Because you're going to get a double back, or possibly triple back, according to your boy, Eminem. Now, M, as far as he goes, I truly hope he's a man of his word. I truly hope he stand by those words that he uttered by not choosing a side. If M was smart, he would not choose a side. He would not side with Yellow Wolf. He would not side with Royce. He would just let these guys figure it out on their own. You know what I mean? Because if he gets involved, it's a damn if you do, damn if you don't situation. So you might as well just stay out of it, M. I'm just saying. But at the end of the day, it's your life. It's your decision. You do what you want. This whole... Race baiting tactic, this whole BS with race, it needs to fucking stop. It needs to fucking stop. Because right now, 
You're playing a dangerous game with someone else's life. So I hope, I hope, to whatever higher power that's in charge, that nobody gets hurt in this situation. Because that's the last thing we need right now. Haven't we had enough tragedies in this world? Haven't we had enough negativity going on right now? It needs to fucking stop. Stop playing the fucking victim card. Race card. Same shit. Royce. Stop it. This is bullshit. And you know it. That was a bitch move. You already lost. If I were Yellow Wolf, and I hope Yellow Wolf is watching and I hope he's hearing this. If I was him, I would not bother to respond. Don't respond. Royce already handed you the uh, W in his beef. You don't have to respond. Because look what happened with Eminem and Nick Cannon. When Nick Cannon accused Eminem of being racist, Em did not respond. And that was a smart move. Because then look, look what came out of it. All these various diss tracks to Nick Cannon. That exposed him for the racist that he truly is. All these same diss tracks that, that went in on, on Lord Jamar. And exposed the racist that he truly is. And it's sad that we now have to put Royce in that same class. Because accusing a white person of being racist without proof, without evidence, that's racist. So not only was that a bitch move. It was a racist move. And Royce, you should be ashamed of yourself. Now again, I hope nobody gets hurt in this situation. I hope that Royce, you... You realize what you've done. And you just say, hey, alright, you know what? It's done. No, let, let's fucking squash it. No, no more beef. No more race baiting. No more racial accusations. This whole shit, it needs to fucking die. This whole race baiting bullshit, it needs to die. We need to quit this shit. Because people can get hurt. Anyways, guys. Feel free to share your thoughts down below. Let me know if you agree, disagree, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Feel free to share your thoughts down below. For all my regulars who've been rocking me up to this point, thank you. Y'all know the drill. Like. Again, start a conversation down below. Keep it civil. We don't need any more negativity. No more hate. No more race baiting. Um, to those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for your view. I really appreciate you. And hopefully you'll consider subscribing to the channel to be a part of the Jason JV family. Would love to have you. And um, yeah, all that fun stuff, guys. And until the next one, it's your boy Jason JV. Saying that y'all take care. Let's try to love each other more instead of hate. You know what I mean? There's already too much hate as it is. And uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.